I want to deal with Mark chapter 7, verse 6, and some verses that are popping up in this chapter. It says, um, and he said to them, rightly did Isaiah prophesy about the hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far away from me. Then he says in verse 14, listen to me, all of you, please understand this. There is nothing outside of the person which can defile him or her if it goes into him or her. But the things which come out of this person is what defiles them. Because verse 21 says, for from within, out of the hearts of people come evil thoughts, acts of immorality, thefts, murder, acts of adultery, deeds of greed, wickedness, deceit, indecent behavior, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these things come from within and defile the person. We've made it to a good point in our time of fasting and in our time of prayer and in our time of God's word. And I want to, for just a few moments, talk about the heart. I spoke before about how in our practice of Christianity, our practice of our faith, sometimes we can have a shallow faith, a faith that does not invite and welcome God to deal with the heart. We, like the Pharisees in Mark 7, are often concerned with the outside stuff. Do I dress a certain way? Do I say the, the, the right things? Do I behave the right way? You can modify all those things, but your heart, as Jesus quotes Isaiah, can be far from God. And I want to challenge you this time and in this season of fasting and prayer to use this time to really ask the Lord to search our hearts. Scripture says, our hearts are dark and deceitfully wicked. Who can know it? I know that our culture says, I just got to follow my heart. I got to do what my heart says. But you can't always trust what your heart says. Because as Jesus teaches us, in our heart is where our evil thoughts come from. I want you to take a moment and ask the Lord to search your heart, to show you the areas that are not like him, maybe the dark crevices of your soul that he wants to get at. Let him in so that he can work and apply the healing balm of Jesus and the gospel in your heart so that you can become more whole in Jesus' name.